A group of young people once left a peculiar object on people's doorsteps, only for that object to speak at exactly 7 p.m. This marked the dawn of a new era in Mongolian communications. On September 1, 1934, the nation heard the words, Attention, the radio committee is speaking, marking the official start of national radio broadcasting in Mongolia. This year marks the 90th anniversary of Mongolian radio. In honor of the 90th anniversary of Mongolian National Radio, President Okhnagin Hursuk issued a decree to recognize artists who have significantly contributed to the media industry. These individuals have achieved remarkable success in their careers and have played key roles in shaping Mongolian radio history, a history deeply intertwined with the country's development. Since its inception, Mongolian public radio has adhered to the ideals and principles of the Mongolian law, ensuring that its programming policies serve the majority of the population. Over the years, it has grown into a vital media institution. Today, public radio provides a wide range of information and programming through three channels, Mongolian Radio Channel 1, Voice of Mongolia, and Petri FM Radio. Voice of Mongolia, established in 1964, is one of the Mongolia's main channels for foreign broadcasting. According to Article 3.3 of the Law on the Public Radio and Television, the nation's public broadcaster is responsible for broadcasting to foreign audiences. This responsibility includes preparing and distributing programs highlighting Mongolia's domestic and foreign policies, promoting the nation globally. Voice of Mongolia prepares five hours of daily programming in Mongolian, English, Russian, Chinese and Japanese, reaching foreign listeners through shortwave broadcasts and VOM.MN. Through letters and emails from listeners in over 40 countries, the station communicates with its international audience, continuing its mission of connecting Mongolia to the world.